Hi friends, welcome back to Carrie's Kitchen. I am making some sloppy joes today and I don't think I posted a video with making that so I thought I would post a video here on my channel here and show you how I make my sloppy joes. So my mom um, would make sloppy joes quite a bit growing up. There were six of us kids and for get togethers or just for dinner for our gang she would make these because it's it was cheap, economical, and um, it fed a lot of people. So if we were having a bunch of people over, which we did a lot growing up, we would have family by or you know friends over during the summer. This is a really um, great recipe that feeds a lot of people. So my mom never used sandwich meal or whatever that sloppy joe mix is that's on the market. She always would make her own barbecue sauces, her own sloppy joe sauce, and so I kind of just grew up that way. I never used manwich um, seasoning, um, and I don't think I've ever tried it, even as an adult, so I don't um, know what it tastes like. but. I can promise you that you will love uh, this version of Mama Giselle's uh, Sloppy Joe. So my mom um, later in life started putting red pepper, red bell pepper in hers. I'm not sure where she got that idea from, but she started putting red bell pepper and it gave it a little bit of a sweetness to it, which is really good. We also, I love any kind of sweetness and as you know if you've been watching me enough, that I love to sweeten up my sauces, um, my salads, potato salads, any kind of noodle salad. I like to put a little sugar in there. Anything with tomatoes, you put a little sugar in there to cut the acidity in it. And so with these sloppy joes, um, I'm gonna be putting some brown sugar in there to sweeten them up a little bit too, which I'm pretty sure my mom also did. So I'm gonna use some of my Epicure seasonings. Again, if you're interested in this brand, really great ingredients, very flavorful, um, economical and clean and good for you. So uh, reach out to me if you want to try their products. It's all I've been using in my kitchen and it's made a great difference. So I just went ahead and I browned um, probably a pound and a half or so, um, probably two pounds of hamburger. And so just crumble that up, brown it on the stove and I did with um, some onion. And then to the onion, I have one stupid little fly around here, um, I am going to add, I'm going to add half of the red bell pepper and see where we're at. Um, if I need to add more, I can add more. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. Um, so I will throw this in. Back here on the stove. I actually think that's that's a good amount. It's a good ratio. You kind of want to have enough in there, but not overpowering. So it looks like the good enough ratio. <laughs> so um, I'm going to put a little seasoning in there while the onions and peppers and everything are cooking together with the hamburger. Um, I'm just going to use some garlic from Epicure, a little salt and pepper, um, and then I'm going to be putting some brown sugar in there some ketchup and vinegar and making more of the sauce. Right now I'm just going to put the garlic and salt and pepper in there. So I'm just going to sprinkle probably a good tablespoon, maybe a little bit more because <laughs> I like garlic, and a pinch of salt and some pepper. So I'm going to let the peppers and onions cook for a while um, in the hamburger and then I will meet you back here and we'll finish off the sloppy joe sauce which is the best part, right? So um, stay tuned and I will be back, friends. Alright, Facebook friends, welcome back. So the onions and peppers have had a time to soften and cook down. <clears throat> And I turned down to low the setting because the hamburger has already been cooked so I don't want it to brown or burn anymore. So at this point I'm turning it down to low. Let's show you guys. 
there it is. So we got a good combination of peppers and onions, I feel like. I feel like that's a good ratio. <laughs> so into the pan, um, we're gonna add ketchup. I'm gonna add the ketchup first to see how much we need. It's hard to do exact measurements just because depending on how much hamburger you're gonna use for your recipe, you kind of have to eyeball it. You can make it as saucy as you want or, you know, as dry as you want, you know, if you don't like a lot of sauce. So it's really kind of your preference. So I'm going to try to get most of this bottle in here. Um, the saucier the better for me. <laughs> um, I like sauce. I'm turn that down even more. And Sloppy Joe's I feel like is so underrated. Um, people are like, ew, you know, but it's actually so good. <laughs> and it's affordable, especially nowadays where, you know, the price of everything's going up. And if you got a lot of mouths to feed in a bigger family, this is really an economical, and you can really zazz it up and put different things in it. Like we did the onions and the red bell peppers. So um, I'm going to stop there and then I'm going to add I was, I was, no, doing a video, so I'm going to, um, pardon the interruption, um, I'm going to put some of stone ground Dijon mustard in here. I would use Worcestershire, however you say it, Worcestershire sauce, but I am out, and I didn't realize I was out. I was at the store today. I would have picked some up. So... I would put a couple splashes of Worcestershire sauce in here also, but I didn't have it. So I'm going to use some of the stone ground Dijon mustard. I'm just going to put, you know, a couple squirts maybe. I really like putting mustard in um, to different kind of recipes. It kind of adds a little something, especially to hamburger. It adds a little something extra. So again, we're going to put probably about a fourth a cup of brown sugar, that's what that is, in there. And then we're gonna just do distilled white vinegar. So nothing fancy here. I have one fourth cup and I put about half of it in there. So just like, whatever that equals out to. <laughs> um, oh yeah, and you can kind of smell, it brings back memories of, of me growing up, my mom cooking it. You smell that vinegar and ketchup and kind of sauciness of the... I'll show you guys. That's what you're looking for. Whew! These sides of this pan are hot. But I'll show you. I'll bring you to it. So, there is the nice sauciness. I might add a little bit more ketchup, make it a little bit more saucier. But if you guys could smell it, mm, it smells good. Um, you can smell that vinegar and the sauce of the ketchup and the sweetness of the God, what is that it's so hot for i just bought this pan today and i can't even hold on to the holders they're stinking hotter than heck I'm like touching the pan but just by the smell of it i had definitely have enough vinegar in there um but I'm just gonna taste it to see if I need to add um, any more brown sugar, salt, pepper, you know, taste your food while you're cooking, like I've always said, um, and see if you need to adjust any of the seasonings. So I'm gonna get a spoon here. I'm just gonna taste a little bit. I'm trying not to burn my mouth. Yeah, that's pretty good. I definitely have, I think, that mustard gives it a nice extra depth of flavor. I really like adding mustard to any kind of like hamburger dishes. So if you make this or anything else like meatballs, try putting a little bit of this um, Dijon mustard, the grainy stuff. It really gives it a, like a little bit more depth of a flavor. It's really good. I definitely have enough vinegar in it. I might add a little bit more brown sugar in here. Because again, I've told you, I 
like things sweet. <laughs> the sweeter the better. But I know a lot of people are watching their sugar nowadays, so you definitely don't have to do this step. Definitely make it your own. It's really good the way it is right now. Um, so you really don't have to do much more. And I think I just might try to think it's a little more saucier. And there's so many different ketchups out there that you guys can use nowadays. Um, they're sugar-free ketchup and a lot of different options depending on how you're eating. Or low sodium ketchup if you have high blood pressure, heart disease. So I think that's good. I think we are good to go. I'm just gonna give it one last taste. I did it, adding just a little bit more brown sugar. That's the sweetness and the desire, the desired sweetness that I want. And so I'll show you the final product. So there's a big pot of yummy, sweet sloppy joe mix made from scratch. And we are gonna serve it up on just some, say hi baby. Hi. <laughs> We're just gonna serve it up on some sweet Hawaiian buns, yum. And I have just a cucumber to chop up. I was gonna make cucumber salad, but I don't have any more onion either. So I didn't realize that I was out of all of these things. So, um, so really good, underestimated, you know, underappreciated, that's what the word I'm looking for. Um, sloppy Joe's, you can do so much with hamburger and it's quick, it's easy, that took less than 20 minutes. The longest part is probably frying up the, the hamburger, but if you already have hamburger um, fried up um, from earlier in the week and you just have excess, this is a great recipe uh, to use up extra hamburger or hamburger that's, you know, getting close to getting freezer burnt and you need to use it up, just defrost it in the microwave for a little bit, um, brown it up, and this is a great recipe and it feeds tons of people, it's economical and it's super yummy and you can jazz it up, uh, you know, with whatever seasonings um, and whatever vegetables, things like peppers you want to put in there, onions like I did tonight, um, and just make it your own and serve it on, you know, whatever you want, bread, buns, um, you know, the lighter option. If you're watching your carbs, there's so many options out there. So, so versatile hamburger is. So I thought I uh, would show you one of the favorites of Mama Duzel's Sloppy Joe's. So, um, every time I say Sloppy Joe's, I think of Adam Sandler's Sloppy Joe song. Sloppy Joe's, slap, Sloppy Joe's. All right, so I'm aging myself there. But I hope you guys try this recipe. You know, like, share, subscribe, do all the things. I love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye.